Oh, hey there. So I'm so grateful because I found a way to get these tattoos removed. I had a turtleneck and I had a turtle head tramp stamp and I was able to get them removed. Now, before I tell you how I removed these, which was a challenge, I want to tell you about my other tattoo that was more permanent. Okay. So, um, see, so you see that whenever I got married the first time I was like, I don't ever want to have the option to take this ring off and cheat. I'm not a cheater. Also, um, I work construction. And so everybody that was working for me got their rings crushed on their fingers or one guy threw a pallet and a, a nail hooked the ring and ripped the meat off of his finger. And I'm like, no. So I was like, I'll just get a tattooed on there. It was a real challenge to get a tattoo on. Anyway, some time passed. Obviously I'm divorced, not by my choice. And it came time, I was like, oh, I'll tattoo over it in flesh tone. And so I did, and then it peeled off. And I was like, I'll tattoo over it in white. And I did, and it peeled off. And then somebody's like, oh, they put this sulfuric acid stuff on there for you know however long. And I'm like, okay, so I put that on every day. It was an open wound for three months. It's sulfuric acid every day, and it was just eating away my skin, and still, there it is. Then I was like, oh, I'll get it lasered off. So I went to get it lasered off. Now, in case you have not experienced this, which I'm assuming many of you have not, let me explain how it works, okay? You go in, you pay $300 per session. They put this gel on there. I'm like, okay, cool. Where are these glasses? I'm like, oh, cool, some kind of laser. <laughs> Incorrect, okay? She's like, you ready? I'm like, I guess. No preparation, like, are you ready for, let me just prepare you for this. It was simply, are you ready? Like a random thing, like, are you ready for marshmallows to come out of the wall? I'm like, I, maybe. Well, are you ready for this? I'm like, I guess, but I didn't know. And then he, she takes this thing and I guess pulls the trigger or whatever, because I wasn't really paying attention, because I'm just like, yeah, I can handle pain. Like, I've been divorced twice, like, whatever. And she hits me with this thing, and it looks like lightning hit my finger arc welded my finger, right? <clears throat> I could see a spark coming up there. I was like, what in the world did you just do? All the, all the skin around here sucks down to the bone. I'm like, that doesn't look good. And immediately swells up in this huge blister that's like literally that tall. And I'm like, whew, you could warn a dude. She's like, you ready for the next one? I'm like, there's another one? She's like, oh yeah. I'm like, give me a second. By this point, there's smoke coming off my hand. It's not pretty. Anyway, she's like, you ready? And I'm like, I guess. I'm kind of bracing myself like, any second now, any second now. And she hits me again. I'm like, ah! My leg kicks up. I'm like, it hurts a lot. And this is coming from somebody like, I've got a high tolerance for pain. Anyway, she hits me several times. By this point, I'm used to it. I'm like, okay, this is what I need to expect. And so it's less traumatic. So that was an open wound. Then she's like, well, it's probably not going to all be done in one session. So I come back three more times. I pay $200 a pop. It still looks like that. There came a point I was like, you know what? That's as good as it gets. I'm done. However, with the temporary tattoos, with the, the pill tattoos that are only supposed to last for five years, uh, and I got the turtleneck and everything, I was like, oh, I don't want to have to have five years with a turtleneck. This is embarrassing. Because I went out in public and people looked at me like, you going to rob me? I'm like, well, yeah, just kidding. I'm not. Oh, the tattoos. So here's what I did. First, I tried soap and water. No. Then I tried baby oil, because somebody said that. And I'm like, mm, no. Then I tried witch hazel. No. Then I tried rubbing alcohol. Oh, came right off. No worries. Now, somebody said I should use a uh, nail polish remover. I don't know if you know this. I'm a dude. I don't wear nail polish. The only time I wear nail polish, and I'm embarrassed to say this, is when I get chiggers and I have clear nail polish in my cabinet for this very reason. I just apply it to all my ankles and then the chiggers are like this. Please don't jump me out and let me die. And then I do, and they die. So anyway, tattoos are fixed. This tattoo is not fixed. Look, the easy answer is don't get a tattoo because it's a hassle getting rid of it in real life and in less real life. Have a great night, love you guys.